In this video, we are going to learn about stemming and lemmatization. Let's begin. What is stemming? Well, instead of definition, I would like to show you stemming in action. Let's say we have these three words and we are going to perform stemming operation on these three words. Let's take the first one which is preparing and let's perform stemming operation and this will be the output. It is prepare. But wait, it is not a proper English word, right? It doesn't have any meaning, but let it be. Now let's take the second one. It is prepared and let's look at the output. It is same and let's take the third one and let's look at the output. This is also same. I hope you got the point, right? What does stemming do is it tries to find out the root word and it will give us the root word as output. But why do we need to do this? Let's look at another example. Let's say we have this sentence by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Let's see what happens if we perform stemming operation on this sentence. Let's take this sentence and perform stemming operation and this will be the output. Now let's take both the sentence and let's compare. Here these two words failing and fail now has become fail in the output sentence as well as these two words prepare and preparing now has become prepare in the output sentence. But why do we need to do this? What is the use of doing this? If you take the raw text and if you look at the input dimension, it is 1 cross 9, which means it is a one sentence with nine unique words, right? Now let's take the output sentence and if we look at the input dimension, it is just 1 cross 6, which is one sentence with six unique words. If you see with one sentence, we are able to reduce three dimension. What if we have thousands of sentences, then we will be able to reduce hundreds of dimension. In fact, that is very, very good for our machine learning model. Actually, in machine learning, we try to keep as less features as possible. So that is why we are doing stemming or lemmatization operation. Okay, that's all about stemming. Now, what is lemmatization? Again, instead of definition, let's see lemmatization in action. Let's take all three words and let's perform lemmatization operation and let's see the output. This time we got prepare, which is a proper English word and which has some meaning. So now let's take this output and let's compare it with the output of stemming operation. If you look at the input, they are same, but if you look at the output, they are slightly different, especially the output which we got from lamentation operation are meaningful and the one which we got from stemming operation is not meaningful. So this is the major difference between lamentation and stemming. Also stemming will be very very faster but lamentation will be little slower. Then lamentation will be very very accurate and stemming will not be that accurate. So these are the uh, difference between stemming and lamentation. Now when to use stemming and when to use lamentation. Well, if you are working on sentiment analysis kind of problem, then you can use stemming. But if you are working on chatbot or information retrieval or search engine kind of project, then you have to use a lamentation. That's it. That's all about stemming and lamentation. Now let's open a notebook and let's see how to do stemming and lamentation in Python. We have this sentence by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. What we are going to do is we are going to perform stemming operation on this sentence. For that, we need to import portal stemmer, which is available in analytical library. Let me do that. From nltk.stem import portal stemmer. This is what we want. Now I'm going to create an object of this portal stemmer class. So object equals to Photo stemmer. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this stem function and inside that function I'm going to pass any word, let's say processed. We will get the stemmed output. So this is how stemming works. Now let's create a simple function which will take the raw text and it will give us the stemmed output. 
Let's do it. So the very first step is we have to lower the text. Let's do that. Text equal to text dot lower. The second step is we have to remove all the unwanted characters from the sentence. If you see here, one comma is there, dot is there, all those unwanted characters has to be removed. Let's do it. For that, we need a regex library. So let's import it. Now, let's remove all the unwanted characters using regex. The pattern to remove all the unwanted characters is anything except A to Z and capital A to Z then 0 to 9 and space character except these characters replace everything with empty string. So this is the pattern. So after removing all the unwanted characters we need to split the sentence into words. So let's do it. Text dot split. Now we are going to take each and every word from this list and we are going to perform stemming operation. Before that we need to create a empty list. So let's do that. A list, empty list. So now let's take each and every word one by one for word in text. Then st dot append. So port stemmer dot stem inside this we're gonna pass word now what we have to do is we have to join all these stemmed words let's do it text equals to join st now let's return it return text now i'm gonna call the function so inside the function i'm gonna pass sentence so by fail to prepare, you are prepared to fail. So this is the output which we got after stemming. Now let's see how we can do lemmatization. So for that we need to import a wordnet lemmatization which is also available in the NLTK library. Let's import it from NLTK dot stem import wordnet lemmatizer. Now everything will remain same. So let's copy this code and paste it here. Then instead of port stemmer, we are gonna use this word not lemmatizer and here the function will be lemmatize. Here one more thing we need to add which is part of speech. So here we are gonna lemmatize only verbs, right? So let's feed v here, verb here. Now let's look at the output. That's it. We got output. So this is how we can do stemming and lamentation.